Hey yo, Trev's Hockey Show. I'm the Trev. Sweet. Anyway, continue with retired numbers and keeping up with Minnesota. Remember, Minnesota already has a retired number in their circulation, which I have done a video on that you can check out here. And you can find the link above you. So while this is their second number, it's the first one belonging to a player. As the video I just showed you describes, it's for the fans of Minnesota. This one is for an actual player, so keep it up to date. Let's talk about the number nine belonging to Miko Koibu. Let's check it out. So Koibu's 15 season career with the Minnesota Wild began on June 23rd, 2001, when Minnesota selected Koibu sixth overall in the first round of the 2001 NHL entry draft. Koivu, however, did not debut with the club until the 2005-2006 season. And in 64 games for his rookie campaign, Koivu managed a respectable total of 6 goals and 15 assists for 21 points. So not a bad, promising start. For the 2006-2007 season, Koivu increased his production while managing to play a full 82-game schedule for the first of three times in his career, putting up 20 goals and 34 assists for 54 points. And Minnesota even made the playoffs for the second time in their franchise history, where Koivu managed to put up one goal in five games in losing effort to the eventual Stanley Cup champs, the Anaheim Ducks. Side note, <laughs> when I was involved in playoff pools, Minnesota was my team for that year. So you can imagine my disappointment. 2007-2008 saw Koivu serve as captain for the month of February, as Minnesota used to have a rotating captain system, which some captains would serve a month, or some captains would serve a few months. And February was Koivu's month. And they only managed to play 57 games, mostly due to injury, but he did manage to put up 42 points in those 57 games. And Minnesota did manage to make the playoffs again, but only lasted six games, where Koibu put up five points in the process. Now, before the 2008-2009 season began, Koibu was named as a permanent alternate captain for the season. The funniest thing, though, was he was really only wearing the A for two months out of that season, is in December and February, were the only two months he wasn't wearing the C. Also worth noting is on October 16th, 2008, in a 6-2 win over Florida, Koibu tied a franchise record for most assists in a game with four and added a goal to give him a five-point night. He finished the season with 67 points in 79 games, but the Wild failed to make the playoffs for the first of five seasons. So a bit of a drought coming. And so it became official before the 2009-2010 season began that Minnesota decided to waived their rotating captain policy as they figured they found their first full-time captain and that went to Koibu on October 20th so he was named the first permanent captain in team history that was a role he held until his final season with the wild and Ko Koibu responded with putting up career highs all across the board in 80 games putting up 22 goals and 49 assists for 71 points for the 2010-11 season, he managed to tie a franchise record he'd already tied, putting up another four assists night on January 2nd, 2011 against the Phoenix Coyotes, but also saw a bit of a dip in his production statistically, managing to put up 62 points in 71 games. The 2011-2012 season saw him selected to his first All-Star game, however he was unable to play due to injury and was thus limited to 55 games this season, managing to put up 44 points. And then we had another lockout. Now before the NHL resolved their official business, like so many other players, Koibu went overseas, this time playing for TPS Finland during the beginning of the lockout. But the NHL did come back. And Koibu managed to play a full 48 game schedule putting up 37 points, and Minnesota did make the playoffs, but like previous outings, it was a quick exit as Koibu managed to put up 10 points in five playoff games. 
It was during the 13-14 season, on March 18th, 2014 to be exact, where Koivu recorded three points in a 6-0 win against the New York Islanders. And with those three points, he became the franchise's all-time points leader with 438 career points in 588 games to this point while putting up a career best in assists and points this season, or sorry, in 65 games he finished with 54 points and putting up career best in points in the playoffs and assists with six assists to go with his one goal to make seven points. 14-15 saw Koivu continue to put up franchise points record by putting up another 48 points in 80 games while putting up five points in 10 playoff games. So Minnesota was starting to advance in the playoffs. 15-16, so Koivu put up another franchise record when he passed Nick Schmoltz with 743 career games played, all with the Wild. It was also during this season that he became the franchise's all-time power play points leader and finished the season with 56 points in a full 82 games and putting up 5 points in 6 playoff games. 16-17, so Koivu put up high 50s for the last time in his career putting up 58 points in 80 games. But it was good enough year for him as far as being offensively defensive to get him named as a finalist for the Frank J. Selke Trophy, which is never a bad thing. And in five playoff games, he put up two points. For 2017-18, he played a full 82-game schedule for the last time, putting up 45 points as well as four points in five playoff games. For the 2018-19 season, Koivu put up 29 points in 48 games before miss having to miss the remainder of the season with an ACL injury. Those are never fun. The 2019-2020 season would prove to be Koivu's final season in Minnesota, but he still managed to leave a mark on the game's played record for the Wild, playing his 1,000th game during the season finishing with his lowest point production since his rookie campaign, putting up 21 points in 55 games, as well as no points in four playoff games. <clears throat> so after the season end, his contract had expired, and Koivu was not re-signed by the Wild, which ended his 15-year tenure with the club. But his career wasn't really far behind, as he announced his retirement from the NHL on February 9th, 2021. He ended his time with the Wild, Pretty much at that. I think he only played like seven more games for Columbus after that. So in the 1,028 games he played, he scored 205 goals, 504 assists, and 709 points. Which, as of this recording, the assists, games played, and points are still team records. His tenure as team captain, which lasted for 11 years, in 59 playoff games, he scored 11 goals and 17 assists for 28 points. And on March 13th, 2022, his number nine became the first number dedicated to a player raised to the rafters in Minnesota. It's my own opinion of the guy. You couldn't ask for a more clutch player. I mean, one thing I didn't mention in his stats this is plus minus rating of 70. So you're always guaranteed a goal most of the time when he's on the ice. As far as defensive minded guys, solid, solid 200 foot player. Really an underrated guy. And I mean, of the two Koivus, I would definitely take Miko over Saku any day, but that's just me. All in all, it was a treat watching him play. And it's hard to think of Minnesota not having his number up there and him not being part of that team. Like, he was pretty much in the chemical makeup. If you really want to give it an official title. So that's Jess Hockey Show. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture. Especially if you're right here. It's a great thing for both of us. So let's keep this great thing going, right? <laughs> While you're here, give me a like. Might as well. You can't, you've come this far. You can't not commit to at least a like. If you haven't yet, 
that red button that says subscribe all over it, hit it. Stay up to date with all the content I'm putting out. My lone social in the description down below. Moving forward, as far as I know, this is the last retired number of the season. So I can play catch up on this checklist, which I am starting to fall behind on. But either way, in the meantime, and in between time, be looking for more videos from the Trev. Later.